Hello guys and welcome to this video. So in this video we'll be looking at mainly the backend for my internet and web programming project. So we have implemented a couple of new modules particularly for the admin and we have also implemented the sign in sign up and sign out functionalities as well as the uh, sign in and sign out functionalities for the admin as well. So for the backend I used flask for setting up the server and mongodb as my database. So this project was done as a teamwork and I would like to credit my friend Princey for all the help she has done for, with this project. Yeah, so let's move on to the project demonstration. So initially we haven't signed in yet and let's see what happens if you try to view a course. So it redirects us to our sign in page and we also have our sign up option but I'm just going to sign in now since I already have the account set up. So the option has now changed to sign out and uh, let's see what happens if we try to view any course. So the course gets displayed and okay I have already booked this course that's why the button is showing booked. So let's try. So I have booked 21st century skills. So let's try with any other course. So yeah communication skills. So yeah let's go ahead and book that course. So let's try what happens if you try to book the course again and we cannot because the button gets disabled. And so let's move on to the admin pages. So I have already signed in as the admin so let me just log out. And for the form validation I have used HTML5 as well as JavaScript. Yeah so let's sign in as our admin. Now the admin is provided with a couple of options including logout which we have already seen. So the admin has the option to view all the bookings. Now we can observe the courses which have been booked and the user as well. So let's just try booking a new course to observe results in real time. Yeah, So let's try with uh, maybe try from professional which comes up here. Yeah, So let's book interview skills. Yeah, so, so let's see what happens if you refresh our admin view page and we can observe that interview skills has been booked by Christine Dios. So the admin has other options like searching for a course. So let's try searching for employment skills and the admin is able to view the details and price about the course that has been searched. Now we have an option to add a new course. So yeah, I'm not going to add any course right now. And we also have the option to edit the course. Yeah, so let's just try with that employment skills. Yeah, let's go ahead with editing it. So I'll keep that to the same price. Uh, let's just update it to some AI yeah, ABCD EFG. Uh, yeah, we have updated it. So let's try. Yeah, so let's see what happens if we try to view the content of employment skills now. Yeah, we can see that the content has been updated. So, yeah, the admin also has the option to delete an existing course. So, let's go ahead with that. And so, for the database, I used MongoDB on the cloud. So, in my courses collection, you can observe that the second uh, entry is communication skills. So let's delete communication skills and let's refresh our MongoDB web page. Yeah, so we can observe that communication skills has been deleted from our collection and so our deletion module is working fine. And the admin also has the option to find details of a user. Yeah, so let's go ahead with Christine DeJos. And the admin gets to view the contact details of the user. So, so these are mainly all the functionalities that I have implemented for the admin. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.